Welcome to my channel. This is Madhvi from tarotcallyspeaking.com, my site where I blog about all the things that I've learned from and about the tarot cards. I also review tarot decks, books, and I make videos on this uh, YouTube channel. And I also wrote a book about tarot uh, where I uh, talk about how to use storytelling techniques in uh, conjunction with the tarot card imagery and, and so that you can do a really awesome, awesome reading. I also do tarot card readings, of course, and I also teach <laughs> tarot card reading for and, and mentor students who are kind of intermediate and, and wanting to learn more and, and perfect their skills. So I do all of that. If any of that interests you, uh, you can check out the links in the description box uh, that accompanies this video. All right, so <laughs> this particular video, uh, as you may have guessed it from the title itself, it's a two-step technique where I'm going to talk about using simply one card to do a reading, to answer a question. So again, know this, this is, this is just a very direct question that you will ask the cards and you will get a straight up answer. That is all we are going for in this particular kind of a reading. So that's why it's just one card. Sometimes if there is a complex question, then you will need a spread. All right. So I don't really discount the necessity or, or the purpose or use of having a spread. Right. But sometimes you just have a very straightforward question and you need a straightforward answer. And for that, a one card spread is exactly what the doctor ordered <laughs> so for this particular day uh you know this sorry this particular video i'm going to be using this very lovely cosmic tarot deck because i like the imagery and i like how it's got that very nice uh, comic book ish feel not the bad comic book but good comic book feel like the comic books i used to read in childhood the Indrajal comics i don't know if anybody from india remembers this and uh, so that's the feel i have and, and and i love the whole storytelling aspect of the imagery within these cards so i'm, I'm going to be using this particular deck for the reading so the next part of the video will be sped up so that you don't you guys don't get bored by it. Okay. So, what I'm going to be doing is as, as you know, this is the spreads video I do. I'm going to demonstrate this spread uh, by asking some very typical questions that, uh, you know, when, that we're faced with while doing reading and just pull one card to get the answer. So bear in mind, these are questions which do not have much descriptive answers required. Or if any any descriptiveness is to come, it will come from the card story itself. So if you ha if you are not familiar with the card story technique, I will put a link up top, and you can go watch that video, and then you can come back here, and and watch the rest of it. But it's fairly straightforward. The technique that I'm I'm going to explain it is 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 very simple. Ask a direct question, pull one card for the answer and look at what the story the card story is right and then look at it from within the context of the question and boom you have your answer all right it's pretty straightforward <laughs> so let's begin i'm gonna make a fan and let's start with a very simple or i would say typical question that many a times uh we tarot readers are asked with this this is also a very typical yes no kind of a question that most people get but let's see how you can address a yes no question also with a one card spread all right so it's like multiple examples all rolled in one uh yeah very typically is he interested in me right many girls have a crush on certain like girls have a crush on a guy and they're like oh is he also interested in me so let's see uh Okay, and you get Prince Princess of Swords reversed. I would straight up say, no, he's not. 
Why? All right. So Princess of Swords, if you can see this card, shows a person uh, who is, you know, like look at the eagle here, right? This is the long range vision. The sword is all about communication. And this is the princess. So again, it's it's someone who is very much out there and, and young and trying to experiment and all of that. So there's that, you know, the page energy basically. And there's a clear day and, and clear thoughts and all of that. What happens when it is reversed? There is no vision. He doesn't see maybe the other person does not see a long-term possibility there. There is a big communication gap and this person is just not looking at you. He's reversed. So one straight up answer here. Again, it's not because it's a reverse card, mind you. You know my feelings on this, right? There are some reverse cards which are actually pretty good, right? So let's say if this was a three of swords reverse, then you would probably be like, yeah, okay, <laughs> you know. So reverse princess of swords, is he interested in me? No, he's not. See what we did here. We looked at the card story. We then put it within the context of the question. Boom, we got the answer. All right. Another example. Uh, sometimes people are looking for jobs and they are like, or will I, you know, how will I, how? Let's ask a descriptive question, but again, a very straight up answer. How will I find the my dream job? All right. Okay. I know you can't see this, but I'm closing my eyes as I, as I try to hone in on the card because the backs of these, this deck is not reversible. So, you know, okay. So again, how will I find my dream job? Here, you have again the Six of Pentacles, but in the reverse. Let's look at this card though. Here you see a man, he's standing on top of a tiny sort of a hillock. Are there, there's nothing really specific. There's just rocks and leaves and such on there. Then he, you know, it's like he has all these Six Pentacles all around him. It's a happy-go-lucky demeanor, it's a smile on his face, and it looks like it's, I don't know, a brand new day or, or twilight, whatever. It's a very green, good energy there, right? But this card had come up reverse. So he, the question was, so, okay, let's go step by step. Sorry, I'm just stick, skipping. Six of Pentacles. The story here is to find the balance between the material aspect of your life and, right, this is, he's grounded, it's, he's practical. This is the material aspect. This is the happiness. This is the green is all about, you know, uh, success, material success, all of that. So the point I'm trying to make is he is grounded and he has found the balance. And that is why he is having this material happiness overall. Right. In the reverse, it tells a different story. It says that, oh, you know, there is an imbalance somewhere. There he Maybe he's not grounded. Maybe he's not connected. Maybe he is not finding the right uh, financial or material balance here. So this is the card story. Let's bring it back to the context of the question, which is how will I find my dream job? So you will find your dream job maybe because this card is all about the material stuff and finding the balance in the material stuff. So you will find it and the reverse, it says there is no balance. So you will find your dream job by not focusing on the material balances or material benefits that you get uh, from your job. Rather, focus on the non-material or the non-tangible aspects of your job, right? If you try to look for material success, you will not find emotional or other success, job satisfaction, perhaps. You might find a job which will give you a lot of money, but it will not give you job satisfaction. But if job satisfaction is what you're looking for, then step away from uh, material satisfaction and you will actually find job satisfaction. So it could be that you might have to go and look, uh, you know, you might have, you might find that kind of satisfaction in a job which offers comparatively less pay than what you're making now, but that's okay. You'll still be happy because if that's what you're looking for, right? So see, within the single image, we can build the story real quick and real fast, and it can get as descriptive as you want as well. So <laughs> know that. Okay, 
So next question, another example. What should I ask? What should I ask? What should I ask? All right. Uh, another another guidance sort of a question. What should I do to take my uh, career, uh, you know, or to my work to the next level? Okay. Again, another reverse card. I keep pulling reverse cards this time. Okay. Anyway, let's go with this. We have the Prince of Cups reversed. Let's look at this card. All right. Here is a young man. We see the scorpion here, right? And the scorpion is, again, someone who is very vindictive, perceived as from something very vindictive. There is the cup, there's feelings, there's emotions, and then there is the uh, rod of Asclepius, I believe. And then you have the caduceus or, or whatever, you know, the snake around the rod, which is talking about healing. So, essentially, we have the vindictive aspect here, then we also have healing here. And we have a young person... Uh, the Prince of Cups, ready to kind of go out there. Uh, he he has he he kind of looks also a little vindictive, and but he's also feelings oriented and looking for healing, right? My question was, how do I take my career to the next level? Remember that. Now the card that we actually ended up pulling was a Reverse Prince of Cups. So instead of focusing on the vindictive aspect, maybe you need to focus on the healing aspect. So again, bringing it back to the context of the question that was asked, how do I take my career to the next level? Focus on creating healing energy around your work and try to do this in a very honest and genuine manner, not in a very angry vindictive manner and you will see a way to take your career to the next level how's that <laughs> okay uh one more question one more question what can i ask what can i ask mm. all right so let's say you have uh, uh you know a job offer and you are not sure if this is the job for you. So you basically want to ask the cards, is this the right job for me? Okay, again, there we go. Oh, this is an upright card. See, the reverse will have this on top, upright will have <laughs> the bright sun on top. Okay, so is this the right job for me? Oh, now see, this is an interesting example. Seven of Cups right see what's what's the story here hmm? this is this is pretty interesting you see all these cups they are in a state of falling somehow this guy is you know is, is he's he's crawling on the floor and, and he's kind of maybe upset or unhappy on you know and on in the background there is this picture of a of a young couple uh kissing and and you know being in love and all of that and then here you have all these cups and then are, are they sinking in quicksand? And this guy is trying to salvage them. See, seven of cups here very clearly, the story is, you know, he's chasing his dreams, but now he is surrounded by way too many things that he is chasing. And he finds himself drowning, surrounded by those dreams, by those ambitions. And he's in, he's literally in quicksand and he doesn't know how to salvage himself right and so the question was is this job the right job for me right look at this this is a perfect example of when even if the card is upright this the answer is i would say this is not the right job for you because this job will take you away from your relationships this job will surround you with way too many ambitions and temptations like quicksand you will be sucked right in but then you will find yourself in a very distressed situation because of it. So, answer, no, this is not the right job for you. See how even the upright card gives you a no answer. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow, my cards are really helping me to make sure all good examples for you. All right, so... 
what else what else let's ask a relationship question right what if there is a relationship where the couple is uh, going through a tough time emotionally finding it hard to connect and so one pa one person uh, you know from that couple comes to you and says so how do i make my relationship work how do i get the communication going because that's the or, or how do i connect with my partner more effectively how about that that's a good question mm. okay oh another upright card that's nice okay how do i connect with my partner more effectively and here you have <laughs> three of swords again very interesting example here in this picture this is a very interesting story right this is like they're standing probably in front of a uh, uh in in a graveyard maybe or it certainly looks like one there is a flower i don't know if you can see it in the video there's a flower here and three swords are stuck right into it and here you see a man another man and a woman or maybe, you know, because the, this guy is standing ahead and those two are standing behind him. And there's a wall and there's clouds. And it's the whole color also of this card is really drenched in grays and blacks, right? So it is a very gray, grim sort of scenario. And you see the flower obviously is a symbol of joy and happiness. But then you have three swords and maybe each one put one sword in there. So swords are thoughts and those thoughts are there and logic or intellect has basically pierced the beauty of things now this remember the question again and and we have different aspects of self here and there is it is within the confines so this wall is really interesting within the confines of the situation outside the scenario is also pretty grim so the question again here was, how do I effectively communicate with my partner? And what we see here is, one, there is more than two people in this situation. So there is a third person in this, in this relationship who is also creating barriers to communication or Again, this is where your intuition comes into play. If you sense it, you can say, okay, maybe this third person might help break the standoff between the two of you and help cut through your, uh, you know, your blocked communication and clear the way. But no matter what you do, there will be some pain, there will be some hurt that you will have to deal with on an intellectual level in order to break, you know, to come to that point where you have that breakthrough and you can have that communication. So either there's one person blocking it or there is one person who will help unblock it. But regardless, this, this intellectual uh, kind of standoff, right? Both parties having thoughts that are opposing each other and then the third one comes, breaks through or the third one is adding more fuel to that fire. But it is not going to be a painless, uh, straightforward process. No, there will be some pain involved. But it will be all for the best because this is within the confines of your relationship. You will find the answer. You will find the ways to connect. Maybe this third person plays that key role there. Uh, either bringing him in or eliminating him as you see. But you have to find a way to get past that blockage of communication intellectually where your thoughts are literally opposing each other and blocking each other out, right? So you need to see beyond that and you need to get past that. And that is how you need to find a way to effectively communicate with your partner. See, upright card, here's the story. One card gives you the answer. Oh, how many more <laughs> examples? We did one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's go for an even number. How about one more question? Oh, what question should I ask? Mm, how about a predictive type of a question? Mm, how about something very, very random? I'm, I'm thinking of, uh, you know, buying some things from... 
uh, you know, from the stores, this, this, you know, basically I'm just thinking, I, I, you know, there's some deals that I'm looking for. It is Thanksgiving time soon. Black Friday will happen. So there are some deals that I'm hoping and anticipating. And so I'm kind of sitting on my purchases waiting for those deals to show up. So how will my shopping experience this is my this is a question I'm asking for myself by the way. This is how will my shopping experience for this uh, uh, you know this Black Friday Thanksgiving Black Friday situation? How will my shopping experience be like? Huh? Or yeah, how will it be like? Okay. All right. Here is one card. Okay, this one's upright too, and it says Three of Cups. All right. So it will be good. Right, you see three cups here, so cups will overflow. I think I will buy stuff that will really make me happy. That will also, again, I see there's a couple here, they're kind of making out or dancing or you know, whatever, it's beautiful. So, again, that's the energy here three of cups, cups are overflowing, there is happiness, there is joy, there is a couple. And they are in sync, you know, physically, bodily, whatever. So what I see here is it will be a happy experience. It will be something to do with uh, a relationship. It will be something to do with giving emotional satisfaction. So bringing it back to the context of the question, how will my shopping experience be like this Black Friday? It will be great. It will be emotionally very satisfying. And I probably will end up getting two types of things one thing one type of uh, things will be something that me and my boyfriend will enjoy with each other so you know there are a bunch of things that we enjoy doing with each other together we like to watch a bunch of movies we, we have a bunch of interests in common so it could be I might make purchases related to that which you know buy maybe buy some DVDs and actually that is it is so true wow yeah, so like, you know, something that we both can enjoy t with each other. And also this is something that will give me a lot of emotional satisfaction. So yeah, tarot decks. I'm buying a few tarot decks. So yep. It, overall, it will be a great experience for me this Black Friday shopping. See, again, whether it is a very serious question or whether it is a very, uh, you know, everyday life mundane type of a question. The point is, uh, you look at the card image, you figure out the card story and you wrap it up in the context of the question that you have asked. So, as I was saying before the phone started ringing. Uh, no matter what you do, even if it's, it's just, this is the simplest, simplest spread. Ask a straight up question which doesn't have many angles to it. Okay, that's, that's the one rule. The question that you want to ask shouldn't have way too many angles, you know. Like if you do a proper spread, there's past, present, future, there's that. So you can't see that in one card, right? Because there are so many aspects, so many angles. But if whatever question you have, make sure it's a direct to the point question even if it's a descriptive question it should be able you know should you should be able to think that okay one card should answer it you don't need several aspects to that and then look at the card look at the card image figure out the card story wrap it up in the within the context of your question and boom you have your answer all right so i think these were some really interesting uh examples oh here's the high priestess from the cover of the box right so these were some pretty interesting examples with some pretty interesting answers uh but uh i mean uh, i i hope that you guys uh can try this spread at home and uh, let me know in the comment section what your experience was did it make sense did this uh did the answers that you get uh was it simple enough was it straightforward enough was it you know accurate enough in in the, in the sense that yes it, it went straight to the point because that's why i like using these one card spreads because they are straight to the point they don't beat around the bush right i hope you like this video i have tried to make it short and sweet um of course 
as always if you guys like my video please 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 hit the like button and if you have not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe 2019 is pretty much right on the corner and i have some great ideas for next year so stay tuned and also if you like me and if you want to actually do uh, you know see a, a an, an actual sort of demonstration of this whole process and effect i do one card a day you know one card per day kind of readings with uh, every month there's a different deck and i pull one card every day asking you know how will this day be like right and i interpret it within that context so it's like that uh, it's like a full on you know all the time i do it every day so check that out follow me on instagram on Facebook, on Twitter, and that's where I do all these things so you can totally see this in action, right? And I will, yeah, that's about it. And if you want to learn more about the storytelling technique, uh, go buy my book, <laughs> all right? Okay, I will see you again in my next video. Until then, stay good, be good, play with your cards. Bye now. Mm -hmm.